Hello and welcome. I'm Cheryl. And you've come to Your Journey Yoga. Thank you for joining me today. I hope uh, that life is good right now and that uh, things have settled in and you've found a rhythm and that all is well in the lives of those you love um, and yourself. Uh, taking care of ourselves, staying as healthy as we possibly can, as sane as we possibly can during this time each and every day. Uh, remember that each day is a journey all in about itself. So keep a sense of humor, keep a smile on your face as best you can, try and lift up other people as best you can, try not to let them drag you down if there are some folks that um, might not be feeling as up as you are. So um, stay true to yourself, be kind, uh, spread the love, you guys. Uh, if you are new to yoga, welcome. Um, this is actually a great um, beginning series of uh, uh, poses that we're gonna do today. Wonderful to help release uh, stress and tension in that lower back. Just really nice um, overall stretches. So join me, if you will. Um, on your mat, or if you don't have a mat, guys, if you have some place just where you've got space that's not super slippery. Um, so sometimes carpet can be slippery. So um, hardwood floor, tile, uh, just some place that is the very best to you. Mats are always fabulous, but I know sometimes we just don't have one handy or we don't own one. So hopefully this will get you motivated to the point where you want your very own mat. Uh, if you do have one, let's find it. And we are actually going to start laying down today in corpse pose. Uh, on our back, palms open to the sky. And I just want you to get rid of all the wiggles. I want you to make whatever adjustments you make to find that place that feels good to you. Now for some, laying flat on your back might not be a fabulous place to be. So if by chance you are pregnant, or if it's just not good for you for whatever the reason, feel free to come onto your side. I just invite you to find a place that feels good to you. Now typically, this is how we would end the class, and we probably will here in just a few moments. But we're gonna start here with our eyes closed, our body relaxed, and we're gonna move from the crown of the head through the body. Just gently checking in. Notice if we're holding tension anywhere, and if you are, can you let it go just right here? Just noticing the weight of your body resting against the earth. So as we move through our practice, joining poses, flowing from pose to pose, our breath is gonna guide us today. So I want you to find your breath right here. Nice, big, full, deep breaths in and out through the nose. I want you to feel the rise and fall of your chest, your belly. to let go of any tension that might be hiding in your hips, the lower back. Now we're going to pull that right knee in towards the chest, taking the hands to the knee just below, or the shin just below your knee, and we're just going to pull in. Now if by chance your lower back is really tight, you might need to bend that left knee, otherwise that left leg can stay long. And we're going to make little circles, so releasing that intensity, but keeping the hands to the shin, and we're just going to guide that knee in a circle. It doesn't matter which direction, clockwise or counterclockwise, because we're going to do them both. So just feel that rotation of that femur through that hip joint. Now let's reverse that. Great. And just noticing if there's any resistance going on. If ever there's pain, guys, we want to stay away from pain. Now we're going to pull that knee in towards the chest. And we're going to extend that right arm out to a T, left hand to the outside of your knee, and just gently pull it across. So a gentle stretch. So oftentimes we will come to this at the end of class. After the body's all nice and warm, we've gotten a chance to let go of tension. So be mindful, because we're just starting out here. Let gravity do use the weight of the leg and the arm. And just ever so slightly, letting that resistance go just a bit at a time. Good. 
Releasing that left hand slowly, we come back to center. Placing that right foot to the mat, either keeping that right knee bent or extend it out, we draw that left knee in. So again, if you're taking care of that lower back, a little too intense with that leg long, keep that knee bent. Otherwise, knee is in. Hands to the shin, just below your knee. Pull it in nice and tight. Mm, so that kind of little pelvic tilt, pressing the small of the back into the mat a little bit more. Really nice release, creating a little space in that lower lumbar region of your spine. Now we're going to release the intensity of those arms, and we're going to do a big circle. And we're just going to kind of guide with our hands and let that femur, the head of the femur, just kind of move through that hip joint. Again, it does not matter which direction because we're going to do both. And let's switch it. So switching out that direction and just gently moving. Moving the leg, mobility through the hip socket. Coming back to center, pull the knee in nice and tight. Releasing, extending left arm out to a T, right hand to the outside of the left knee, and gently pull your leg across your body. So here, again, bringing out beautiful spinal twist, really nice stretch for your hip. But we want to be kind because we might still be holding a little bit of resistance. If so, where? And can you let any of it go? Releasing that right hand, rolling back to center. Bringing the hands behind that left thigh. Let's rock it up. Ah, bringing the soles of the feet flat to the mat. Hands behind the thighs. We're going to sit up nice and tall, big arch at the back. Oh, draw those shoulder blades together. And then exhale, hollow out, drawing your nose towards your knees, chin towards your chest. Again, inhale, lift. Open those knees just a little bit. Press your tummy through those legs. Roll those shoulders back. Exhale, hollow. Knees come towards one another, about hip width apart. Pressing that spine towards that back center of your mat, chin towards your chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall. Let's bring those soles of the feet together. Feet are out and away from you. And we're just going to gently fold forward. Let your hands come wherever it's comfortable for you. Just letting that upper body melt. So never do we want to just like jam ourselves into a pose. We want to come into it purposeful, deliberate, with our breath as our guide. And find that proper place where your body is ready to be. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. Now we're going to start at the tailbone and slowly roll yourself up. One vertebra at a time. Coming all the way back up. Oh, sit up nice and tall. Now pull those feet in a little bit closer. Bringing the hands to the shins just above the ankles. Take a big breath in and press the chest forward. Arch your back little bigger arch and then exhale hollow the tummy and chest let that upper body come back hollowing out through the belly inhale press it through arch your back seated cat and cow so a little bigger variation than when the soles of the feet were on the mat and those knees were bent big full deep breaths last cat And coming back to a nice tall spine, let's take that right foot, crossing it underneath the left. If you are taking special care of your knees today, you're going to keep that right leg out long. Left foot is going to cross, either bringing to the inside of the foot if the leg is long, or outside of your foot. If the knee is bent and that right leg is tucked underneath, we're going to bring that left foot to the top of the knee or the base of the knee. So lots of options, lots of variations for those legs. You check what's right for you. So front view, legs are crossed. Again, to the base of the knee or to the top of the knee. And we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Now we're gonna work to get that left sit bone to the mat. Pulling the knee in nice and tight. We wrap the crook of that right elbow around the knee. We're gonna pull it in nice and tight. Oh, that feels good, good, good. So getting into the hips. 
At the same time, we're going to release to that lower back. Extending left arm out, lift it high. Circle it around behind you, hand behind you to the mat. Sit up as tall as you can sit. And then slowly take your gaze out over that left shoulder. With a little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone, just pulling that left knee in nice and tight. Is that left sit bone still connected to the mat? So mobility, guys. Release. Breath. Mindful. Kind. Extend left arm straight back, lift it up, releasing that rotation, facing forward once again. And let's switch to the other side. So, either we tuck that left leg underneath us, or that left leg is long, and we pull that foot in either to the inside or outside of the leg. If that left knee is bent, base of the knee, or top of the knee. So you decide what works for you. What's your body wanting today? Where is it ready to go? So we challenge ourselves, yeah. So sometimes, you know, some days we need to really just take it easy and we're gonna find that kind of four or five range of intensity. We just wanna move our bodies. We don't really wanna to challenge too much. We just wanna encourage blood flow. Um, and just a, a sense of calm in the mind and the body. Some days we really want to challenge ourselves and we want to find that place kind of in a seven, eight range of an intensity scale and really work hard. Those are great days too, but beware. What is it that you need today? And be present within that. Never a bad thing to step back a step or two and find that four or five on that intensity scale. Wrapping the crook of that left elbow around the knee. We're going to pull it in. Oh my goodness, that feels so good for the back. Sit up nice and tall. So just that rotation. You feel that through that lower back? Mm, yes, I do. Breathe. So just pulling the knee in and you feel that in that right hip? Mm, yes, I do. Right arm extend out. Lift it up. Circle it around. Place that right hand behind you to the mat. And then take your gaze out over that back arm, back shoulder, all the while pulling that right knee in. Find your breath. Slow, steady breath. Extending right arm back, lift it high, release that rotation, and release that right leg. Let's come up onto all fours to a tabletop position. Hands shoulder width apart, knees hip width, core is nice and strong. We're going to take a big breath in, draw that belly button in and up, and as you exhale, draw your right ear towards your right hip, hip towards your ear, and inhale it back to center. Exhale, left ear, left hip. Inhale it back to center. Exhale, right ear, right hip. Inhale back to center. Exhale, last time, left ear, left hip. Inhale it back to center. And sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long. Forehead towards the mat. And just let yourself sink. Mm, nice big deep breaths. We're going to inhale and lift just enough to sweep that right arm underneath our hand, palm to the floor. We're going to walk our fingertips out as far as we can walk. And then release the weight of the upper body down onto that right shoulder, side of the head to the floor. And extend left arm out as high as you can towards the top of your mat. Breathe. Inhale, lift just lightly enough to release that right arm, extend out. Left hand's going to reach underneath that right arm, and we're going to walk our hand, palm side down, out as far away as we can, and then allow the weight of the upper body to sink onto that left shoulder. Right fingertips walk towards the top of your mat. Let your body weight be heavy. Close your eyes, relax your jaw. Find those big, deep breaths. So opening up, getting a nice stretch in that upper and middle back. Stretching through the shoulders. 
Bringing out that tension. Inhale, lift just enough to release that left arm. Extend it out in front. Child's pose. We're going to inhale, hollowing the tummy and chest, slowly coming forward to a modified plank. Rounding through that upper back, hollowing the tummy and chest, coming back to child's pose. Again, we lift the tailbone, hollowing the tummy, hollowing the chest, slowly coming forward to a modified plank. Rounding through the upper back, hollowing the chest, hollowing the tummy, pressing back to child's pose. One more time. Inhale, hollow the tummy, hollow the chest, slowly rounding forward and leveling out into our modified plank. Hold your modified plank. Core is strong. Hips are level. We're going to keep those hips level and we're going to extend that right leg straight back. Big toe just barely touching the mat. And bring it in. Left leg, extend it out. Pointing those toes, top of the foot just barely touching the mat. Hips are still level, side by side. And release, again, extend. Breathe, top of the foot, big toe just barely resting. This time, lift the leg just a bit. Squeeze your bonnets, keep those hips level. And release, again, left side, extend it out. Point your toes. Top of the foot just barely resting on the mat. Keep those hips level. Lift the leg just a bit. If you need to keep your foot down, keep it down. And release. Hollow the chest, hollow the tummy, and press it back to child's pose. Breathe. Slow, steady breaths. And just gently, uh, just get rid of the wiggles. Let yourself settle into child's pose. As you're ready, extend those arms out nice and long. Hands, shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. Let's lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky. Coming up to downward facing dog. So just however you need to. We want to find those feet hip width apart. We want to find those hands shoulder width apart. And we're going to spread those fingers wide. Breathe. Now we're going to lengthen through the crown of the head. We're going to lengthen through the tailbone. So rather than arching that back really, really big, I want you to lengthen, creating a nice flat line from the tips of your fingers all the way up to your sit bones. Now I want you to roll those shoulders inward. So it's kind of like you're trying to tuck those shoulders towards the front of your body, opening up through that upper and middle back. So rather than allowing those shoulder blades to squeeze, we want to roll them out. Front view of that. So rather than allowing those shoulders to sink in, I want you to press through and open up through the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Again, rather than letting those arms sink and we come into the chest, roll and press. Breathe. Tucking the chin just a little bit, allowing those heels to sink. Find your breath. And let's bend that right knee, left heel presses towards the mat. Switch sides, left knee bends, right heel down. Switch once again. And one more time. And allow those heels to sink. We inhale it to high plank or high push up position. Exhale it back to down dog. Press through the palms of the hands. Inhale it back to plank. Exhaling it to down dog. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold and relax the weight of the upper body down. Head heavy, face soft. Oh, really nice release for that lower back. Great stretch through the hamstrings and the calves. Let's bring the hands to the elbows and hold on. And gently sway side to side. The arc around those legs. Breathe. And coming back to center, relax the arms ever so slowly. Roll those, roll yourself up. Arms are long, heads heavy, all the way up. Oh, big shoulder roll up and back. Let's do that one more time. Big shoulder roll up and back. 
Shoulders slide down and away. Now let's take a giant step opening, extending those arms out to a T. And we're just going to gently side to side, allowing the arms to just be heavy. If you need a little narrower stance, please feel free. If you can keep that wide stance, keep it. And it's just a free flow. Just side to side. And we're going to come back to center, extending those arms out to a T. Core strong. Let's hinge it forward. As you come forward, release that right hand, center it out in front of you. Keep those hips side by side. Rotate your body and extend left arm to the sky. Reach it up as high as you can reach. Find your breath. As you exhale, go ahead and let that left hip rise. Press that right inner thigh towards the back of your mat. Reach up as high as you can reach. Now circle that left arm around behind your back. Forearm along the small of the back. Take a hold of that right thigh if you can find it. Core is strong. Take a big breath in and slowly begin to bend that left knee a little or a lot. So just take care. Find your breath. You can come as low as you like. Just be mindful so that that bottom doesn't sink any lower than your knee. And then rise. Extending left arm back to the sky. Slowly release your hand down. Left hand takes the place of the right. Square those hips. Keep them square. And rotate to the right. Right arm reaches to the sky. Now we're doing our very best to keep those hips side by side. To keep them level. That right hip really wants to lift. We're not there yet. Almost. Now as you exhale, let that right hip lift. Oh, that rotation is a heck of a lot easier. We can look up a little bit higher. We feel that great stretch through the inner thigh of that left leg. Slowly circling that right arm around behind your back. Circle the back of your waist as far as you can reach. If you can take a hold of that left thigh, feel free to do so. Take a big breath in, core strong. And as you exhale, begin to bend that right knee. A little or a lot. Again, bottom no lower than your knee. Awesome stretch through the inner thigh of that left leg. As you exhale, extend that right leg, release that right arm, and slowly release it down. Let's walk those hands to the left, as far as you can walk those hands. Now we're going to take that right hand, we're going to reach it out, as far as you can reach. Maybe you can touch your toes, maybe you can reach past your toes. Now draw your nose towards that left knee. Can you feel that amazing stretch to the ribs and the waist? all the way down the arm, down the back of that left leg. If you like, place that right forearm to the mat, rotate your body, and extend. Left arm to the side. Now this is pretty intense, guys, so staying up on that right palm if you need to. Breathe. Slowly releasing that left hand down. Coming back up to that right palm. Let's walk it back to center. And then over to the right. So we're going to walk those hands as far to the right as we can. And we're going to take those left hand and we're going to reach it out as far as we can reach. So maybe you can reach to your toes. Maybe you can reach past your toes. Draw your nose towards your knee. Mm, so there's this awesome stretch that's going on behind that right leg. And at the same time, all the way down the left side of the body. Now you can choose to stay right here or bend that elbow. Placing that left forearm to the mat, we rotate and extend right arm to the sky. Reach it up, high as you can reach. So again, check in there with your body. Are we where we should be? Are we too deep? Never want to be too deep, guys. As you exhale, releasing that right hand to the outside of the ankle, coming back up to that left palm and walk your hands back to center. Release the weight of the upper body down. Take a hold of the ankles. Use the strength of your arms to start to pull that upper body towards the space between the legs. If the crown of the head comes to the mat before you wish it to do so, place your hands on the mat and heel toe those feet in once or twice, whatever you need to do. Breathe a little tuck of your chin towards your chest. A little shift of weight forward into your toes. Center your weight. Core strong inhale. Lift just enough to release those arms and let them hang. 
Breathe. Let's bring those hands to the mat out in front of us. We feel toe those feet in once or twice. We want those feet just a little bit wider than the width of our hips. So you determine if you need once or twice or maybe three times. Core is strong. We're going to lift. And we're going to lift to the point where those arms are extended, palms are to the mat. We're going to lengthen through the crown of the head. We're going to shift weight back into our heels. So I want you to notice how your body responds, how the core kicks in, that beautiful stretch on the backs of the legs. Can you lift your toes? Now slowly, slowly begin to bend your knees, lowering your bottom to about knee height, no lower than knee height. And then as you exhale, extend those legs. Let's do that one more time. Bending the knees, lowering your bottom, just to knee height. And exhale, extend the legs. Let your arms be heavy, ever so slowly roll yourself back up. With a big shoulder roll at the top, shoulders slide down and away. Pull the hands to heart center. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, open the arms to a nice wide V, gaze to the sky, little arch back. Inhale, reach to the sky and pull the hands to heart center. Let's turn to the top of the mat, to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan back to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And sit it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and long. Head heavy, face soft. And again, we hollow the tummy and chest as we roll ourselves forward to that modified plank. Slowly melting down to your mat. Go ahead and slide on back to your mat so that your face is over the mat rather than over the floor. And we're going to extend those arms up and out just a bit. And we're going to come up to the pads of the fingers. Fingers are going to be spread nice and wide. Elbows are lifted. Core is strong. We're going to rise. We're going to press those pads of the fingers into the mat as we take our gaze forward. Breathe. And slowly releasing it down. Take a big breath in, press through the pads of the fingers, draw those shoulder blades back and down, gazing forward just a bit. And then slowly releasing it down. Inhale, press the pads of the fingers into the floor, squeeze those shoulder blades, gazing forward. Breathe. And release it down. Now pulling those hands in, forearms to the mat, palms to the mat, spread your fingers wide, nose and chin to the mat, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift the upper body to cobra. Breathe. And gently release it down. Extend one arm out and then the other. Slight bend in the elbows. Draw the hands and the elbows in line. And we're going to press and lift. Draw those shoulders down and away. So the different arm positions. Adding a different kind of stretch, a different kind of intensity, slowly releasing it down. And press, press through those forearms. Lengthen all the way out through the crown of the head. And slowly releasing it down. Pulling the hands right back by your chest and press it back to child's pose. Stretch it out. Mm. Find your breath. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands out to the left. Reach to your right fingertips and press your hips to the right as you relax the weight of your upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands back through center. And then over to the right as you reach to your left fingertips. Press your hips to the left and relax the weight of your upper body down. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through the center, and sit it back to child's pose. 
Take as much time as you need in child's pose. And as you're ready, walk your hands up. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around and slide on down to the top of your mat. Breathe. Let's open up those feet a little bit, uh, about as wide as your mat. Maybe your toes are off the mat, heels are on. And we're going to take those hands kind of right along the shins. Lift through the crown of the head, nice and tall spine. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, gently begin to hinge forward. Keep that length in the spine. Keep reaching through the crown of the head. Now take one hand out in front, and then the other. Now what happens oftentimes is we kind of hollow out through the chest. I want you to draw those shoulder blades down and away. Beautiful stretch. Really nice in that lower back. Knees are gently pulled back and away. Now bring the hands to the tops of the feet, the ankles or the shins, and we're going to round over. And we're going to draw the chin towards the chest. All the way over. Ah, just let gravity do all the work. You just do your best to relax. Now lengthen through the crown of the head once again. Find that length in the spine. Draw those shoulder blades back and down the spine. And we rise. Bringing the feet up towards the top of your mat, feet hip width apart. Hands extend them out and slowly lower yourself back. Take your time. Make it last. Keep that belly button drawn in. We're doing our best to touch each vertebra. One at a time. Oh, open those arms out to a T and let's draw one foot in toward your bottom and then the other. Feet are hip-width apart. Now let's bring those hands down by your sides, palms to the floor. Tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat. And we're going to press through the heels as we begin to lift the hips towards the sky, pressing our way up to bridge pose. As we're pressing through those heels, knees remain in line with those hips. Find your breath. And you'll lift those arms straight to the sky. And as you exhale, let those arms come overhead. And you'll lift those fingertips towards the sky. Keep those buns high. Squeeze them, squeeze them. Lower the hands back down. Let's do that one more time. Lifting the hands. Arms come up and over. And you'll lift those hands. Squeeze those buns. This time, as the arms lower, so does your bottom. Each vertebra comes back to the mat at a time. This time we're going to line up those arms in the um, lower body. Squeeze to pelvic tilt. As we lift the arms, we lift the hips, pressing through those heels. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze at the top. Arms are overhead. And you lift those fingertips to the sky and then slowly lower the arms as you lower the hips. Breathe. Crossing that right leg up and over the left. Ankle to the outside of the knee. Extend the arms out to a T. Now let's press that right knee out and away. And slowly lower both knees to the left. Now we're going to take our gaze out over that right arm. Mm, just gently pressing that right knee out and away. If that's too much intensity, guys, don't worry about it. Just let that leg relax as best you can. Just letting those knees fall to the left. Oh, beautiful stretch all the way through the side here. And we come back to center. Placing that right foot to the mat. Left foot crosses over the right knee. Pressing that leg, left knee out and away and then slowly let both knees fall to the right. Mm, as you take your gaze out over that left arm. And just that little push of that left knee out and away. Letting your head be heavy, closing your eyes, relaxing your jaw. So lots of different positions today for the back. Getting into the hips a little bit, the lower back, the hamstrings, the glutes. So they all kind of feed off of one another. Tight hips, tight back, tight back, tight hamstrings. Tight hamstrings, tight back. So we get in and get the very best we can, but do it gently. 
as to not make the others mad. We want to work in unison. We want to keep that body happy and healthy and mobile. Worst thing we can ever do is stop moving, guys. Slowly roll it back to center. So just keeping consistent in moving your body in one form or another, drawing that left knee in and the right hands to your shins, just below those knees, pull them in nice and tight. Bringing the hands behind your legs and extending those legs a little or a lot. So you might be tighter through the hamstrings. Maybe we don't get full extension of those legs. That's absolutely fine. If having those feet soft, you're like, hmm, I could go a little bit deeper. Flex your feet. So as we flex those feet, we lengthen all of the musculature, all of the tendons, all of the ligaments down the backs of the legs. Pulling those legs in a little or a lot. Oh, that beautiful stretch for that lower back those glutes, those hamstrings, those calves. If you like lifting the upper body. Now bringing those forearms around behind the calves, if that feels okay, use the strength of those arms. Pull those legs in. Making sure that you're breathing. Not holding your breath. It's easy to hold your breath here. Slowly releasing the intensity with the arms. Slowly releasing that upper body back down. Bend the knees. Gently place one foot to the mat and then the other. And let the soles of the feet come together as those knees open out nice and wide to reclined butterfly. Hands resting on the tummy, the hips, down by your sides. You can bring your arms overhead if you like. Just find that place that you're able to relax. Your body's not fighting anything, or your breath just flows. So as I was saying, consistency, guys, just move in one form or another. Change it up so the body doesn't get used to one thing. Definitely don't let that body get used to being still. One of the worst things you can do is just be still, always. Be present, be kind, be mindful. And slowly drawing the knees in, hands to your shins just below those knees. Hands behind the thighs when you're ready, rock it up. And let's turn face front. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. I hope this practice was great for you. I hope it made your back feel even better, looser, stronger, all of the above. Um, be well. Take care of yourselves. And until the next time, namaste.